Oh my gosh! Too. This looks like it's gonna be a bunch of just BS. <laughs> Three months. Oh my gosh, I don't forgot the controls. It's been three months. Who Damn. is that? What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I Mark. take it. Mark, okay. We're all hungry. No kidding. It's really when been three months. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean mm. Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Where is he gonna go? He's got a family to look He's after. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the uh, old guy's deal, anyway? Larry's still Seems here? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. I have a problem with Larry. No. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. For real. Our problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find food. Facts. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. Mm. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, yeah. And knock me flat. And tried to leave me behind to get ate up. So old dude needs to square up. I'm still pissed about that. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Well, let's not do that. Ah! Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. The episode just started. Oh, this music is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> um Jesus Christ. Oh my oh, gosh. Shit. No, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, fuck up. <laughs> you gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. 
My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bit? Was he bit? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, you gotta lose that leg, dude. Oh, no. Yeah, you gotta lose that leg. Shit. Oh, we gotta leave you behind. Lee, please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Uh, please, you can't just leave him like this. Just get me out, please. please. Do something. Come on, do something. Do something. At any minute, please. Get what you want me to do? Do you think you can get it open? I just hit the. Hurry! Uh, oh God! Uh, please save him. Let's go! Let's go! Um. Oh man! Oh man! Come on. I'll be using chain like that at the Air Force base to lift ordnance. You're not cutting through that. There has to be a way out of this. Lee, it has to be another way. You gotta lose that leg, dude. I'm sorry. Take it like a G. Come on. No, no, no. We don't have time for Try the trap again. I'm sorry. What do you mean, try the trap? Oh my gosh. Can't keep him back from uh, Kenny, okay, I'm trying. Fuck, I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Oh god, there's so many of them. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. How have you not passed out yet? Okay, there he goes. <laughs> oh god. Shit. Is he? He passed out. Yeah. Grab him and let's go. Y'all just stand in there. Come on. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Behind you. Travis. Come on. Come on. We got to move. Why are you just standing there? Oh, you deserve to get ate up. You had plenty of room to make a move. And you just stood there. And there goes Larry the Lobster. I'm telling you, they give me the option to do something, I'm doing it. Clementine, come on now. Where's your top lip at? Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what's going on? We have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What? What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We Nobody are asked not responsible you. for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right we might here, back right up. now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. If 
fine. You guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. <sighs> I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? That's a dude. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. Child. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. Fine. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Just give me the sh leave me alone. You only have four food items for ten hungry people. Oh my gosh. And everybody just staring at <laughs> Larry, you not getting anything. Don't even look at me. Okay, so Clementine, Duck. We gotta feed the babies. So Clementine and Duck, they automatically get something. So that's two. And then there's two more. Larry's not getting anything. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Uh, sure. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. It's back in the forest. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. No problem. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Do your thing. Oh my gosh. These angles sometimes are just crazy. This... Or is this trash? I was about to, <laughs> I was about to say there's a whole box of soup right here. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Talk to Mark. Don't talk to Larry. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kadja can save him. Ever miss the Air Force Base? Give some food. I don't know if I'm giving you food you ever yet. Miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but but nothing. She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Shut up. Nobody asked you. Need any help with the wall? Shut your nope. thick neck up. We could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Give it to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? You can kiss my Come ass. On, Larry. That's give what you rest, can do, Larry. Man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Uh, uh, yeah. 
Is that what you told him? Yeah. There, that's right. I meant what, what I said. Do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. Tell him the that. The thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Mark, let's leave. Let him do the fence by himself. I'm telling you, the first chance they give me to lay this man flat on his ass, I'm doing it. Oh, you think I'm racist? Yeah. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. I've only been playing this game for like 20 minutes and I'm already heated. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. A couple promise. days? If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Um. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. What There's was I no supposed to way. do? So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. Ben. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when, when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know, something. You'll be prepared next time. You need to be. Next time? Yeah. Because there's going to be a next time. I already know. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. Hopefully. I sure hope so. Um. What's up, Duck? How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is. Okay. I don't know. A dog. It's a cat. cat. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Okay, he's hey, a kid. Doc, Give him some food. How about a little food? <laughs> His face! Uh... You can have the apple. Here. Oh, heck yes! Is there peanut butter? I don't know what if we got all think, that. Doc? No, probably not. And then give Clementine something. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Cheese and crackers, here. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. I gotta make sure my girl is taken care of. So the kids are fed. What's up with you? Sleeping any better? Why'd he no. pop up like that? <laughs> I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Mm. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. You Hell know, no. I can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. Yeah. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. I'm only giving uh, food to the people that I actually like. Lily's not getting nothing. Larry's definitely not getting anything. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. Uh, thanks. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. 
I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. So Carly didn't take it. See, Carly is a... She's a real one. Everybody at this camp is just so... <sighs> Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Okay. You should stay here. The coast does sound like a smart idea. I don't know what difference it would make going to the coast. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. We're probably not going to be able to stay here forever, so... Kenny, you Want saved me, eat? so... Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yes. Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Thank you for saving me. Back at the... the what was that? The pharmacy? Ooh... You know what? We'll save her for oh, somebody Some else. of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. It's just about figuring out who to give it to. Kids are fed. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. And to think I was about to give you the last piece of food, Lily. Mm. Mark said he was weak, so give you the last piece of food. Yeah, eat something. Yeah. Right in front of Larry. Thanks, Lee. Yeah, Larry can just watch you eat. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. Thank you. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Cool. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? Oh, There's this none prick. left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, okay. well, I don't see you working on that wall. I wanted to say something. I'm, a, I'm not going to say that. Huh. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. Ooh. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Dang. What about the other kid? Oh my gosh! I thought that y'all said he wasn't bit! Oh my gosh! What the hell am I supposed to do? Lee, why are you standing there? Oh my gosh. Use left stick to get away. This is as fast as you want to move? Oh my... Y'all said he you wasn't okay? bit. Yeah. Thanks. 
Why'd you bring him here in the first place, oh asshole? Yeah, Shut up! Down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. What? It's gonna happen to all of us. Why would you say that in front of kids? You're lying. It's true. I swear it. Maybe he's right. I didn't see any bites. It would explain why there's so many of them. Jesus Christ. You just die, and that's all it takes. And shit. One fatal car wreck in a family of five turns into a family of walkers. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. That doesn't make sense, girls, though. Jenny Pitcher, I think. I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I Where's everybody off? coming Harley. from? We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother, Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but... Uh, could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Oh my gosh. I don't feel like this is a good idea. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll volunteer me. You. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Okay, Carly. So, uh, what Thank do y'all think? Oh my gosh. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We don't have enough See food. See how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So I don't feel like this is dairy, a good idea. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Thank you, Carly, you know. You think they'd want me for a little? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Yeah, because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Hmm. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. Carly is a real one. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Uh, Where are you from? We gonna play this smart? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Chow. It's a democracy. That That's a dang lie. Lily. She runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. Period. How many people you got over there anyway? Mm. 
Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Whoa, what is that? No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it there's off There's only two of them. Oh, no. There's yeah, and you know what? More we ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Jesus! Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Oh my gosh. That wasn't even necessary. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Okay. See, farm well, life is what you out. need. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. That's a lot. See, if something like this pops off, you need straight just country living. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This Brenda. here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? They all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Mm. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she We have a vet. We could bring her here. Mark. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Mark, well, what are you how doing? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Smart. Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this?
Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. 